Afternoon. Something a little different today. Now, I made myself an arm for my sand scoop. Um, made it at home, and I posted some pictures online, and it got some interest. It got some genuine interest. People asked me how I made it. What did I use? And I thought, do you know what? I'll share it with everyone. And uh, keeping in theme with my budget line of detectors and um, just trying out budget machines. And can you do it on a budget? I thought I'll incorporate this into the budget series because it really did cost me nothing. Um, not everyone will be able to procure the pieces I've got for nothing, but you can do it on a budget. That is the, the element or the key in this. Um, I'll talk you through some of the bits, some of the tools, and some of the alternatives because you may not be able to get what I can get hold of. You may have better ideas, different materials that you want or prefer. Uh, but I will show you how I made the extension pole for my scoop. Now, the scoop's heavy anyway. Um, I got my scoop on eBay. Uh, again, saving money, because these were about £100-ish. Um, and it, that's all that I got with it. Nothing else. This was covered in rubber, but I took it off, because I found it holds water, and salt water corrodes metal. So I peeled that off, and I've just given it a, a quick light spray with some black paint. Uh, just some stove paint I had kicking around, didn't cost me anything to go and buy, or you can, you can use rubber paint. Rubber paint's okay, it's not particularly durable, but then I only want it to stop the rust. So that's just a preference. The pole itself, is this one is a four foot long piece of galvanized steel. Uh, the reason I made one, because it snapped. Now this is exact. This is an identical piece of steel, same pole. I got them from a scrap man for nothing. Um, but yeah, you can use wood. Wood doesn't doesn't rot as quick as steel will. And I fully expected it to rot out in there. So I've got a couple of adjustments I'm doing with the 2.0 series. As you can see, where it was um, pinned into the actual um, scoop, it snapped. Then I do abuse the scoop a lot. That's why I'm using galvanized steel, because I hang on it. And uh, maybe you should or shouldn't, I don't know, but I prize rocks, I, you know, I do abuse it. So I wanted something sturdy. <clears throat> now, the attachments on the end were from, this is your standard NHS or medical crutch. Looks a bit different because I've taken the bits off. The pieces I have pilfered, are the arm cup and more luck than judgment they're actually pretty much the same diameter I had to just shave off a little bit to make it fit in 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 there it is riveted much like it was on the original and then you had your pistol grip handle my pistol grip handle has some foam on it these are handlebar foam ends. Um, 99p um, eBay from China. I mean, you can get them anywhere. You don't have to use these, but you could use grip tape. Any bit of foam, really, if you want foam. I haven't glued mine on yet, as you can see. I've just cut them down the centre. It just clips over like that for now. I'm unsure if I'm going to keep it. I probably will, because it was actually quite nice. And uh, you can adhere that however you want. I was going to use some epoxy resin, or you can buy a tube of silicon for a pound, from a, a, or a dollar, I don't know, um, from the budget store. And that will also come into play when we get to the bottom. In between, I've just got a roll of grip tape. That's probably the most expensive thing, apart from the initial scoop. This grip tape, again, eBay, it's about five pound for a roll. This roll has lasted me ages. I did the original handle with it. I've done my shovel with it. And I have enough to redo that, or what I am going to do is make another handle, and I'll explain in a minute why, and I'll be able to cover the next handle with it as well. You could cover the whole stem if you wanted.
The reason I haven't used the medical crutch as the handle, some people do, which is fine, um, especially on dry sand, you could get away with it. This is very soft material. I will bend it, I will snap it and break it. That's a given. Um, but the good thing, if you're just doing dry sand and you, you're not abusing the scoop like me, um, by all means, keep the attachments on that and fit the actual crutch to your scoop. I've seen people do it, it's a very good idea. It's very lightweight, keeps the weight of the scoop down. Galvanized still makes it heavy. And the bonus of a crutch is it's extendable already. Adjustable for everyone's height. Makes it a lot easier. If that was steel, I would have kept it. Right, get rid of that. So, fixing. There's a couple of key things I want to mention about fixing. What I have done, I've used a butterfly nut and a, uh, a Phillips crosshead bolt straight through. The, that, this was already pre-drilled. Get the correct drill bit. I'm not sure what size it was, but it, it, if you've got drill hanging around at home, it'd be a lot easier. Drill straight through, washer each side, and a wing nut. I've done that so I can change the pole. Now, what I found is, I have tested this one out. I think, when I do use it on dry sand, it's gonna to be too long. Um, so I am gonna cut this one down to probably about there. Redrill, keep this handle for dry sand and then I have another pole. This pole I will just use for um, my everyday wet sand rocks because I'm constantly levering and I put a lot of stress on it. Longer handle, less effort, and you can get so much more leverage with a longer handle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have two handles, one four foot and probably one three foot, three and a half foot. If you can't get hold of any of that, I've just remembered, you could also use pipe legging. You can get this from a DIY store. They're normally about a pound of length, and where you get tons, you only need a little bit. You could cover the whole thing again. Um, but you could just cover that section as well with it, so it's not banging on your arm. Other than that, that's about it, really. The tools I've used, if you've got them kicking around indoors, or you can borrow them, a hacksaw, to cut to length, a drill for your holes. There's only three holes in this two rivet holes you don't have to rivet it you could self tap screw it if you've got self tap screws you could even glue it um, nothing stopping you gluing this actually if you don't have access to a drill but it might hinder you on fixing it to there one thing I will say when fixing it to there the shaft is smaller you can see it is smaller so what you need to do I can't stress this more actually. What I have done, I've wrapped tape around this section of the shaft. Otherwise you will get a pivot motion inside when you're levering and it will snap or it will, it will damage this section of the scoop. It will um, elongate the hole, it will wreck it. If you can pack that out, stop this moving within here. And then once you've packed it out, screwed it in securely um, I know this is going to be a temporary thing, but what I'm going to do is where you've got the gap around the pole, I'm going to fill that with silicon, stop the water getting in, because there's nowhere else for the water to get in. And if that fills up with water and sand, again, it's going to rot quickly. And it makes it horrible to get it out if you want to change stems. So yeah, temporary thing, you could either tape it, or you could silicon it, peel the silicon out if you want to change the handles. It's a bit of a faff, but that's what I'm going to do. And again, if you can, seal underneath these two maybe put a rubber washer actually a rubber grommet it will stop the water getting in there if you're going to change them regular you better wash it out regular other than that if you don't want to put your um, attachments from a crutch on the end you just want a, a pole get yourself a rubber foot from a walking stick or this one is from the crutch itself and they do fit on the end it will stop you getting any muck down the end of your tube and it will make it a bit safer for when you're out and about um, so again if you can pick up a rubber a rubber foot 
and you don't want to use the crutch fittings, I would advise putting a rubber foot over the end. You don't even need to glue them. That is about it. I mean, that's, that's the fittings. Just go over them again. A couple of washers, a long bolt and a wing nut. I'm going to keep them for the secondary shaft I'm going to make. On a budget, this has cost me the cost of the grip tape, which is a fiver, the cost of the foam handle, which isn't essential, a pound. That's it, apart from the end of the scoop. I think that about wraps it up. Budget handle for your scoop for under a tenner. Right, I don't think I've got any more to say. If you want to check out any more of my other budget videos, videos, I've got a few on detecting. I'll see you soon.